don't show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks, this and that, spitting slow, spitting fast, I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness, hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior, inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior, get off of me, this ain't no humble brag, I want you to hear words, you can say them back, I want you to feel free from the chains at last, and to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah. Now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'll be an incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up No, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages I'm making modern kingdom for the take What's going on everybody? Just got back from the Lexington Card Show You guys got to see a video clip in the beginning of this It was a pretty good show for being the last card show of the year that I'll be attending I was impressed It's a long drive to Lexington guys uh, I think it's like a three hour turnaround trip uh, but I had stuff to do in a long way, dropped off at the post office in a little town called Bardstown, which made the drive out there quicker, coming back. Wow, holiday shoppers, man, you guys do not have the Christmas spirit out there at all, especially in stores and everything else. I've never seen so many people so rude during the holiday season in my life, flipping each other off, you know, honking horns, I was like, where is going on here? But I finally made it home, uh... Reminds me, I need to text Joey. But I'm going to go over my pickups. I bought from three different dealers out there. Still searching. Nothing crazy really spent out there. But I did find some cards I've been looking for. And I've been digging more into different types of cards you guys see from the videos coming in. It's stuff that I mostly like. And I'm going to take down my overhead here for grading. Because it is way in my way. I'm going to be bumping this table with it. All right. Gotta get a PSA order out this weekend. All right, so first up, Joey, coming to you in your next package, man. Got you a Tome. This is a really cool piece. Look at that. I just like how they have this cut out. And I don't usually see Tome stuff that much at shows, but when I do, I always pick it up for the bullpen, a.k.a. Joey, a.k.a. CVC. Um, I think that's all I have for him for names for right now. Pretty nice, though. I thought I saw it being serial numbered for some reason when I was doing that. But yeah, I'll put this in the pile for, to come back to you or your box I have here. Found it and had him throw it in a deal. I think these, this first deal, let me go down to where the first deal ends. All right. I believe I spent 50 or 60 on this. I can't remember now because I was pulling stuff in and out. So Nolan Ryan, this is from Fleer. Let me get my focus back. Holy cow, camera. We don't. I know we don't break no more, buddy. There we go. Piece of authentic uh, memorabilia, Astro stuff. This is from 2005 Fleer. That oh, was pretty cool. Only piece I found, it was cheap. Pick this up, um, Alan Fanica Steelers. This is Obsidian, 2021. I believe this one was out of 100. He had one out of 75 and one out of I think it was like 25. 
But Fanica went so bad off the stickers, I didn't want it. These sell for like, I think like $10, $12 um, offhand of what I remember to look it at. But I figured, what the heck, throw out a deal. Because I don't normally see this stuff at my shows I go to. You guys might get to see it at your shows, but not me. Vinny Testaverde, Mosaic Auto. You'd be surprised. This car sells anywhere from like 5 to 12 bucks. But that threw it in the deal. I'm like, what the heck? Another autograph? Throw it in the patch. The last two, I didn't even know these cars really existed because I don't pay much of, uh, attention to it out there. Old school guy, Steve Largent. Picked up two of his autos. And I saw the prices on to them, and I'm like, there's no way these are this cheap. Steve Largent's autos is that cheap. I mean, I don't... Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but have you ever seen him in an NT or an iMac? I'm really not thinking that I could think of anything with him in it. But this one here, the greats of the game, it's presented by Fleer Sports Illustrated. It's got the embossed thing here, which I don't know how that would grade out. I want to say this was 99, if I could find it here. Yeah, 99. Fleer Skybox. So, 1999. Nice look of card. I might put it up in the store. I mean, these you're not going to find PSA 10s laying out there. I can tell you that now. Pan. But pretty cool for an auto and stuff like that. There are these. I believe both autos like are anywhere from 10 to like 20 bucks. Pretty cool finding it out. I don't think that's on my sleeve. I got to look at something on here. I'm going to be upset. Uh, might be going back to my bad grading. Yeah, that's the sleeve. Okay. Pretty sure it's a sleeve. Hurt, come out. Yep, sleeve. Okay. I mean, if somebody's really a diehard fan of Steve Largent, let me know too, and I'll put him in a store for you. Here's the other one Incredible Upper Deck. I think this was 2000. Don't know now. I just looked up incredible when I did this originally. Let me flip back onto the two onto here. I don't want to misquote the year on it for anybody that might be interested in these. Especially Seahawks. 99 too, 99. The funny part is this one, there's a low of one at 750, but it was really banged up. There's a high of 33, 47, 1250, 1250, 1050, 1299, 1995. You know, I pretty much got it for, I think, 10 bucks. So, and what the heck, Steve Large and Auto. Let me get back and focus for you all. There you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool, though. That was, like, my cheap pickup of the day there. Just, you know, like I said, a lot of stuff I'm looking for, Hall of Fame autos. I mean, not every Hall of Famer is going to sell for crazy money out there, but still nice to have. The next pickup was off of a gentleman. I walked by his table at first. He was slam busy. And pricing, he's like, hey, don't mind the sticker prices. I haven't changed them out in probably six weeks because stuff changes too much. I said, okay. Well, I came back, and this is why I saw this. Kenny Pickett Elements. He had a sticker of 100 bucks on to it. And I'm like, man, is that really worth 100 bucks? Is it serial numbered? It's not. And I can never grade these. And if anybody knows Elements, there's just there's a protective coating on it. It's going to grade low with a protective coating on. I could take it off a chance, but then you got the metal back. It's like a printing plate. Why would you grade it type deal? So I looked it up. Last one I could find on my phone says sold for $150. And he's like, I'll take 80 on it. I'm like, huh, I'm interested. He goes, I'll throw this Pickens in. He had sticker price to $15. There's no way the Prestige, unless there's something crazy on this, guys. I haven't looked it up. It's selling for $15 on Pickens. Maybe it is, and I'm just really off. But I'm going to throw it in. I was going to buy this regardless. I was trying to make up, he sold the Jalen Hurts that I wanted there from Impeccable, and I was going to package those two together originally, but you win some, you lose some when you snooze walking around. Another gentleman owns a shop in Louisville, and I don't know where I stuck his business card at, or Louisville in Lexington. Um, really nice guy. We sat there and talked, picked me up a Kenny Pickett. This is from Panini VIP. I think this was numbered, though. No. 
they were selling for like 20 bucks on eBay. And, you know, for me, I like Kenny Pickett. So I just said, okay, I'll do 20 bucks on to a type deal, basically. But then I saw this. And this guy is probably the most intriguing thing of all that I could think of right now. Brock Purdy. Doing very well out there. Couple games. What are they going to do if Purdy does well, takes them to like in the playoffs deep, then they finally lose type deal? What do they do with Trey Lance? Or just say, you know, they get eliminated first, second round, they want to keep both of them. I don't think you could keep both. I think you take some high, you take some draft picks for one or the other and pray the other one works out, but I could be wrong. Last illness was 127, so this, this would have been 147. I offered him 120, he took it. Again, I'm always fair, whatever I tell you, whatever I offer up on this stuff. It, Trey did go off sticker on this, but those two I'm going to send off. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a nine, but hey, we'll give it a shot anyhow out there. My luck. I'll come back in eight, starting a new year off, you know, type deal. But we, me and Joey got a little water going out. I wanted to throw a couple more things into it. Other than that, pretty cool show at the end. I mean, you guys seen some of the cards I looked at out there? I didn't want to go spend heavy because it's the end of the year. I've already spent enough as it is. Um, yeah, it, it was it was definitely uh, good for the drive. It's just I'm beat exhausted from being up at 7.30 in the morning and now just my time. It's 5 p.m. and I've just been on the go and still got to keep going all night long with stuff. And tomorrow, PSA, getting ready. It's just you get tired. I think you guys probably understand offhand what I'm getting at. Well, guys... Appreciate y'all watching the video. The next show I will be attending, I will be set up at January 14th, the Derby City Card Show in Louisville, Kentucky. If you're there, stop by. We're going to play a game again. I may just have the sign up. I may just put a video up ahead of time and telling you what I want done. You know, like a little scavenger hunt or a crazy video, you know, drop and give me 20 push-ups saying one extreme, two extreme. I don't know. Or I may just airdrop. I like the airdrop thing the best. All right, guys, I am out. You guys have a good Christmas, a good New Year. I'm going to probably not come live for overtime at all uh, due to the holidays. I might come on real quick on this next Friday just to tell everybody Merry Christmas to you and your family. New Year's, you guys are probably going to see me doing that uh, spending challenge on whatnot, and I'll probably be bagging my head off how many hours I'm going to be live doing it. So if you get some free time over that time and I'm still on after like 20-some hours, stop by and chat because I'll probably be hurting. I'm not lying. Uh, I've already spent X amount of hours on this first video making, and I'm at one card. One card, $11. Plus shipping, we'll call it $15. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm out. Take care. Have a good one. See y'all next video.